Hey everybody, today we're going to be going through the province of Limpopo. As you see the seal and all the great and wonderful things that are happening in Limpopo, it is a major um, location here in South Africa. It's a great province um, which houses several cities to include to include Polokowani and a lot of nature reserves and things along that line. Of course, you get to go golfing and, and so forth. So yeah, just stay with us and you will see what Limpopo has to offer. And keep in mind, this is just a small snippet, but hey, the only way you're gonna be able to, to enjoy this is to come here on a visit. Enjoy. Hello everyone. I just wanted to um, obviously just reach out to you guys. Uh, as you guys probably know or don't know, we actually now do visa services. We help you get your visa um, to come to South Africa. We just have a, a short consultation with you. Um, re, uh, send us an email at outreach uh, at therealsouthafrica.com. Um, and then at that point, we have a conversation and then we can start working with you to get your visas next. Hello everyone, this is uh, Mark Blanton and Latasha Blanton from The Real Side for Africa. We have to took the long trek to get to the Mall of the North. Now we always talk about the Mall of Africa. We do that because it's close by, but take a look at this mall. Take a look, what do you think, Tasha? I think that this mall is just equivalent to most of the malls in South Africa. It lets you know that the Infrastructure is here for you guys to shop and get your needs met. It doesn't show you uh, the whole mall, but it gives you an idea of the simple fact that if you come to South Africa, your needs will definitely be met when you go shopping. Yeah, and one of the things I like to bring uh, up is the architecture. Just kind of look around um, the architecture and just to kind of see how it's set up. And then of course, look at the people. Just take a moment and just kind of look at the people. Some of them may look familiar, it might look like from look, look, look like somebody from home. Um, they're in America, of course. And of course, they have all the national brands here. Um, just take a look. Um, some of the brands that they do have here aren't in the United States, but they sell some similar products or same products and so forth. So yeah, it's, it's a really great place and we found that it's a great place for people to you know get together um, there in, in the city. And, and of course it provides great employment as well. I think what I like about the malls here in South Africa, not just the Mall of Africa, even this Mall of the North, is that you do see a lot of people just kind of out congregating. The mall itself is just a nice place to be because it is beautiful. Sometimes you just want to go to the mall and go for a walk. I mean, it's huge. You can get all your steps in. If that's the type of person that you are, you can say, I'm going to get my 10,000 steps in because the malls are just beautiful to be inside of, to look at. And it is just nice to see people that are happy and doing their thing. I mean, even the people that are at work are happy. Some of the stores you walk by, you hear music blaring. These people are at work having a good time. And that by itself just puts you in a good mood. You're like, you know what? I think I might want to stop in there and do a dance with them. And they're, and they're happy to have you there. And that's, you know, why I like um, some of the malls here in, in South Africa. 
Yeah, I, one of the things that I was I was kind of keying off what Tasha was saying that you go into some of the stores, you know, obviously most of the uh, the workers are black, and like I said, probably the uh, the ownership is black and and whatnot. So you get an opportunity to to relax when you go to uh, locations like this. So this mall here is massive. It's a big, 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 big mall. And um, so, like I said, we was requested to go, go to this mall. So thank, um, thank you to all those people who said, hey, why don't you go to the mall in the north? Well, here we are. Uh, and so, like I said, we're glad we came here. And it's just good, like I said, for us to, you know, to see the people and so forth and just see the architecture. I see why you guys are proud of this particular location in, uh, right here in Pono Pawani, right here, uh, right here in Limpopo. So if you're, if you're looking at this, especially if you're from the U.S., um, you know, go ahead and leave comments. Go ahead and tell us what you think um, about, you know, the malls here in South Africa, or especially this mall, the Mall of the North. Uh, like I said, uh, you, obviously you will get some feedback from the South Africans that, uh, that, that are on our page as well. But as you see, uh, again, you know, uh, I, I, we tell everybody all the time, you know, Africa is, 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 is not one monolithic thing and South Africa isn't either. So with that being said, you know, the best way to get a real good view of South Africa is to come here on a visit. Come and look and see for yourself. Um, one of the things you can't get is how it makes you feel to be here, especially for someone who's bringing that DNA back um, to the continent and, you know, and, and to just see what it feels like to be here. Um, all your vacations could be here in South Africa. There are too many provinces, even inside of um, this um, province, Limpopo, there are five different locations from Mopani to Capricorn and, 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 and beyond. So again, you can always use the Google and find out a little bit more about Limpopo and you can use the internet, but at the end of the day, it really just comes down to you getting in an airplane, booking a trip with us, letting us put, put everything together for you so when you get here, um, you're not running around trying to find anything. We'll get you a nice guide, somebody who can show you what um, Limpopo in South Africa is all about. I agree. So we hope that we get to see you guys soon. The only thing that I want to add is that because the malls are so massive and they are a nice place to just kind of spend the day, just keep in mind you can be there all day. The restaurants there will allow you to get there early enough to have breakfast if you want to, shop around, walk around, maybe grab lunch with your friends. And this, just the whole atmosphere of being in some of the malls here in South Africa makes you feel super comfortable. But you can't feel any of that comfort unless you do like Mark said, which is come on a visit. And we will always tell you how to find us. So of course, leave comments. Think about you know what parts of South Africa you want to visit. And we will be happy to put together a customized package for you or one of the ones that we already have together. So we are looking forward to seeing you in South Africa soon. Absolutely. Now, here's the funny thing. If you've been looking and following us, you will realize that everyone, and I mean everyone, or following this video is wearing a mask. Um, ever since a lockdown happened, March the 18th of 2020, the reason why I remember that is because we were in the United States and we had to get back because we didn't want to get locked into in, in the United States. And of course our home is here, so uh, we wanted to get back. But yeah, uh, if you notice, everyone is, is being safe um, for themselves and for others. And of course, when you come here, if, if, you were, if you're still under lockdown conditions, we would obviously request that you wear a mask as well. It's very important. And honestly, if you don't wear a mask, no matter where you are, even if you're in the townships, they're gonna look at you very funny. The mask, as they say, is compulsory, which is our version of mandatory. And no one has any issues wearing masks. You will see people walking into a mall or even into like a grocery store and they'll forget their mask and they'll turn around quickly because they understand 
that if they're going to get their needs met that day, no matter what they are, they better have that mask on. And that's the beauty of everyone doing the right thing here in South Africa, just making sure that they keep everyone safe by doing what the government has asked them to do. And that allows us to actually start opening, having travel, domestic travel, now international travel, because people have done what they've been told. So just keep that in mind if you are ready to plan your visit to South Africa. I don't care how many masks you bring. If not, you can buy some cool ones here. But make sure that you start with wearing your mask when you get to this country, because that is what is going to be mandatory when you get here. And we do hope that you come. We are hoping that all of leisure travel will be open soon, but for right now, just continue to look at videos, get your deposits in, make payments. We can always reschedule trips if we need to, but right now, plan your visit to South Africa. It's never too soon to plan a visit to South Africa. Okay, y'all, and then, and like I said before, if you're if you're looking at looking around at the people. Like I said, they're very, very similar to to yourselves, um, and it's good to be, you know, honestly in the majority. It is a it's a wonderful thing. You don't have to worry about you know being black. Um, you don't have to worry about a lot of things because everyone is black, and they don't judge you on 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 your on your skin tone uh, for the most part. But at the same time, they would love to have you here. Love that. Love to see you. Love to for you to visit to enjoy locations like this, be able to shop in some of their great stores, and keep in mind that at the end of the day, um, whatever you buy at these stores, uh, if you keep your receipt when you leave, then you get to uh, get that money back, being at the taxes. Um, there's a 15% tax on your on your stuff that you buy, but once you leave, you can get all that money back. So, and the, and the prices are already pretty low. So. We hope to see you again here in sunny South Africa. There you go. All right, everybody. I am inside of a 2,000 year old plus baobab tree. This is the inside of the tree. I know you're probably saying to yourself, what are you doing on the inside of a tree? The tree is massive. It normally is hollowed out because it normally is, absorbs water and then the water is kind of kept in here. Now, the smaller baobab trees, um, elephants, break them open to get to that water, uh, especially when it's, when it's dry outside. So when you go to like Makugumwe um, in Limpopo, you see a bunch of baobabs um, and they're busted open, like this hole that we have here to get in here, simply because the, um, the, uh, the elephants get in to get the water so yeah this is inside of a tree whoever knew that you would be standing on the inside of a tree so look around all right how we got in guys the small hole right here okay so now we're gonna go on the outside and we're gonna show you what the outside looks like. So this right here is how I'm getting out of this tree. Climb through here and now I'm out. So now I'm gonna walk around and show you the rest of the tree. Um, you're gonna to have to pan way back, Tasha, way back. Let me get out the shot. So that's the base of the tree. But before we go all the way back, let me show you this. You see right here, it's still growing at the tip of the tree. It grows a centimeter a year. And you see how long they are, but it's continuously growing and growing. So it's a, an ancestral tree that goes back before we even had calendars. <laughs> Come on back, way back. Way 
All right, as you see the base of the tree, let me go in the picture so you can see in comparison to me. I'm a seven foot guy here, <laughs> seven feet. Not seven feet. So here we are at this uh, 2,000 plus year old baobab tree in, in Pumalanga. And of course, I had to be the one to climb the tree because that's what I do. I would have climbed a little bit higher, but it is wet on the day that I'm climbing. And just the simple fact that this tree is this old and the history of the baobab tree, I, I needed to go up there just to touch it. You already saw that Mark was inside the tree and I know he explained how the tree works and why the tree is hollow and the fact that elephants drink the water from the tree. So you'll see a lot of trees in other places in South Africa where the tree has been knocked over because elephants are doing that. But I am enjoying my time climbing this 2000 year old tree. It's amazing to see something this old and if you're adventurous and you want to do more things like climb, hike, jump. South Africa has all of those things for you in many of its provinces. So I enjoyed my time climbing the tree. I didn't, like I said, I didn't go as high as I wanted to go, but it was something to do and I enjoyed it. And I hope that you guys will consider South Africa, consider Limpopo, and just understand that all the provinces have something for you absolutely something for you so you know how to contact us we look forward to planning your trip to any province especially Limpopo it's one of my favorite provinces and you know just get here I don't know how many times we need to say it but everything that we experience and show you can only be felt if you actually get here so we do hope to see you guys soon you'll hear me say it all the time info at the real South .com. And look how small I look against that tree. Hello everyone, this is Mark Blanton from The Real South of Africa. I'm sure you guys have probably been following us here on our Facebook page and of course on our YouTube channel, which all that information will be um, um, below. Um, think about it. Coming to South Africa, maybe not something that you was thinking about doing, but I promise you this, you've been missing out on one of the best kept secrets in, in all of travel. And of course, you're fortunate because we're here already to make sure all of this works for you. So the best thing that you can do is to go ahead and contact us. Go to our website, therealsouthafrica.com. You will get a lot of information there. Go ahead and send us an email and let's start working on your packages now. Now keep in mind that you could do individual package, meaning, hey, I just wanna come by myself. I really don't wanna you know, bother others or you can come in a big group and everything in between, special occasions, birthdays, things on that, along that line. We're here to make sure it all works for you. So again, contact us at The Real South Africa. As you see, this is it. This is the real thing. Again, contact us. Talk to you later. Thank you so much for spending time with us today. If you like what you saw, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the notifications button so you don't miss out on all things The Real South Africa. Thanks again.